A fast-growing hub for innovation, the University of Houston is now working to accelerate the time it takes for potentially life-changing faculty inventions to become realized global contributions and technologies available in the marketplace. Inventions like UH professor Deborah Rodriguez's nanomaterial coating for water filters. The coating can remove chemicals and heavy metals and it can kill microorganisms in water, potentially helping poor countries improve their drinking water while providing new, more cost-effective, large-scale water treatment options in the developed world. If we can make something that is uh, more cost-effective and that can save uh, billions of lives, that for me is priceless. Another UH breakthrough? Professor Pepe Contreras Vidal's Brain Machine Interface Technologies. They harness brain waves of paralyzed, stroke, or amputee patients and allow their thoughts to control robotic hands or groundbreaking robotic exoskeletons. UH faculty innovation does not stop there. Professor Adrias Brasdikis has created a device that helps doctors detect the spread of breast cancer. The technology that we developed was primarily aimed at, at the breast cancer. This technology can be developed for any kind of form of cancer. His technology allows a safe, environmentally friendly magnetic nanoparticle to be injected and tracked through a patient's body, rather than the radioactive material currently used. Throughout the university, momentum is building. UH is now the top IP revenue generator of all U.S. public universities that do not have medical schools. In 2013, the university earned more than $16 million, taking faculty intellectual property to the marketplace through technology transfer and commercialization. Everything from advanced materials through medical devices, all the way up to software copyright. And it's uh, unusual that you see that breadth uh, uh, across multiple sectors. Now, in an effort to bolster innovation even further, the university is continuing to transform more than 70 acres of this former industrial site near the UH main campus into a cutting-edge energy research park. Here, UH nanotechnologist Shea Curran has his company, Voltaics. It's aimed at commercializing a number of innovations, including powerful coatings that use nanomaterials to protect things like wood or clothing from water or even red wine. That as I put water on the surface of the bag, the water does not go through. So these very, very tiny molecules are strong enough to support water, even though the holes, each one of these, is about a millimeter wide. In a nearby building, UH engineering professor Venkat Selvamonicum is working to develop and scale up the manufacturing of high-performance, low-cost superconducting wires for next-generation power transmission lines. He's also working with semiconductors to produce thin films for use in things like solar cells or flexible electronics. So we're at the early stage and uh, we are starting to make the devices. So uh, at this point, we are certainly looking for industrial partners uh, who can really see the benefit of uh, what could be the outcome of these technologies. UH leaders are now working with an investment firm to grow a sustainable entrepreneurial ecosystem at the UH Energy Research Park making it a base for technology incubation, where UH innovators can work side by side with experienced business investors. They will bring partners, not only for our technology, they will bring other investors, other technology, um, so that we begin to work together, we learn from each other. The investment firm, the Texas Collegiate Regional Center, is committed to initially spending $25 million, including investing up to $10 million on technologies developed by UH faculty. How we want to get involved is working with the Tech Transfer Office uh, and also the inventor themselves to really understand the market opportunity of, of that invention. And once we've proven that there is a true market for that and that the intellectual property is sound, what we're going to bring is capital and, and mentorship to that, that company and really take that company to the next level. The firm will also break ground on a $15 million Center for University Entrepreneurship building to house laboratories and startup businesses. A lot of these entrepreneurs have great ideas and we're just trying to help them with the business aspect of it and also the fundraising. Uh, fundraising is very difficult when you're starting a new business. And our partnership as well will have access to all the core facilities that University of Houston can offer which is a very, very attractive opportunity for a lot of small companies that are starting up to get access to multi-million dollars worth of equipment at you know very friendly rates. And it also brings that investment back to faculty's lab for, the, for further development of technology 
or creating new technologies. Like the cutting edge cancer detection technologies being developed by UH professor George Zeradakis. His applications can turn smartphones into medical devices that snap pictures of skin lesions, analyze size, texture, and color against a database, and help doctors recognize whether they're cancerous. This is an amazing opportunity for those of us who has the technical expertise, but they don't have the business aspects and access to investors and funding. Uh, by having somebody who can partner with you, it takes that burden away that you can actually concentrate on the technology and bring it to a point where it could be marketable. And I think the University of Houston is in a position to really create new technologies. And the city of Houston can benefit from those technologies because they're going to create new jobs.